welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to have you here today in today's video we're going to tackle a fun and practical diy project that is creating a kitchen towel rack using just dollar tree items this diy project is perfect for renters and also budget friendly so you can spruce up your kitchen without breaking the bank so if you're curious to see how i did this please keep on watching you're giving me wind and rain You're some kind of butterfly Baby, you give me wind Alright, let's dive into the materials we need for this DIY project So, I'm using this varnish You would need black and brown paint These days, uh, paints are also available in Dollar Tree A paintbrush these hooks are from Dollar Tree which actually supports 5 LB each E6000 for sturdiness and this wooden board where all our hooks and um, rod hangs and a glue gun to attach everything Let's cover the hooks with this gesso. I got this from Michael so I leave a link down in the description for you guys to go ahead and check it out. Uh, you can also order it from Amazon as well. So I'm using a normal paintbrush to paint a thin layer. So I have added two coats here but you can add three or more too if it is insufficient. So I'm adding gesso here because uh, it gives a smooth surface and the paint will adhere perfectly without any patches if that makes any sense so let it dry completely before painting it any color now let's take this wooden board and paint it kind of rustic brown black paint so i have added a thin layer of water before adding the paint so which gives that diluted texture if that makes any sense again uh, and I have added few patches of black and brown by layering it to give that black brown wood color So do follow what I did in this video and you will land perfectly if you want to paint any other color You can always do it uh, You can even paint it just brown or leave the natural wood color as well So once you finish all the paint, if you have any harsh lines, you can always um, use some paper towel to clean it up. And this is how it should look. Let it dry completely. Now I'm taking this wooden um, piece which I had uh, in hand. If you don't have any wooden piece, you can always use the um, plunger from Dollar Tree and use the handle of the plunger. Uh, but I already had this I'm using this and I have painted it black and again let it dry so once your hooks are dry now let's paint it black you can always paint any color so I was going uh, in a black brown theme so yeah paint two coats uh, of black and let them dry completely So now take the board which is perfectly dry and let's cover the borders of the board with some black paint just as shown in the video. <laughs> you can always use a paint brush here but I'm using my fingers to do this because uh, it gives a perfect amount of paint and it's easy to do. Best. 
So once that is done, this is how it should look. I know this is a very minute detail, you can always skip it, uh, but I just wanted to add this touch. Before doing anything, uh, just let them dry completely. Now I'm adding a layer of varnish to all my elements like the wooden board, wooden dowel and the hooks just to protect uh, it from fading and from water as well. Don't leave me here and drown. Oh, oh, oh. But I don't wanna jinx it, babe. Now I'm using this foam uh, circles to add it to the corner like this, um, as you can see on the video. So I'm using the glue gun uh, to attach these to the board. Once that is done, this is how it should look. It looks pretty cool. So the original idea was to add a paper towel holder, but I did not calculate the width of the paper towel or the actual diameter. So I miscalculated it and I cannot use the paper towel on it. So I have converted into a kitchen rack where you can actually hang things on it if that makes any sense but i will make a project where um, you know i can hang the paper towel on the wall so that i can uh, save some uh, counter space as well so what i'm doing here is i'm taking the measurement uh, between uh, the hooks using the same wooden towel because i won't be adding any edge to it so that it just sits on the hook if that makes any sense and for the hooks they are actually self-adhesive but uh, just to be safe I'm adding hot glue gun and also a thin layer of E6000 just for the extra sturdiness so they just don't fall off the wall if that makes any sense I know uh, it's kind of uh, paranoid when the things fall off the wall <laughs> but uh, this is how it should look so let's arrange the wall so this is the final look I have used the silver s hooks to add the items so these are some of the items which I hung on this kitchen wall rack so there is one exciting item in this so this is the kitchen wall hanging which I did a few days back so if you haven't watched that DIY yet, I leave a link in the iCard and also in the description box. Don't forget to check it out. It's a very exciting DIY. So the one which looks like a broom is actually a fall find from a Dollar Tree which is actually scented uh, in pumpkin spice. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY as much as I did. If you ever recreate this DIY, please tag me on the Instagram at simplyDIY. And I'll see you next time with the exciting DIY. Until then, bye. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Up my appetite Don't leave me alive